The biology department at HCC's Stafford campus provides students with several interactive ways to study material that is often detail intensive. There are three kinds of students that we have here. We have students that are visual learners, we have students that are auditory learners, and we have students that are tactile learners. Our goal is to sort of give each one of those learning styles a chance. Models are a very good resource because they're three-dimensional. So in the case of the ear or the muscles, for example, you would not be able to see that well in a 2D model. Many instructors or rather textbooks have little 2D models that no longer really resemble the 3D model. For example, the muscles, you can actually disassemble them and then reassemble them. And the act of doing that allows the student to see muscles that they normally could not see well. The 3D online that we're doing is still in the process, but the intention of that is to allow the students to rotate. For example, we have an eye model that we're practicing with, and it allows the students to go throughout the entire 3D dimension uh, on an axis for the eye, and the instructor actually is narrating the various parts. Those are created using a software that we have that allows the images to be stitched together at various angles. And then that allows a 3D model to be formed. Many instructors are providing video lectures. The videos are such that they allows the instructor to provide the PowerPoints, allows them to use images from their textbook. The instructors give a chapter by chapter, focus by focus. That way the students know what to focus on for tests. So it's almost like reliving the classroom while outside of class. On the website, you'll find microscopic slides that instructors have put up. You'll find the anatomical models that I've spoke of, so there's a link directly to that. What we're planning on doing is bringing an interactive website. Now, we do have one that's very good that students have been using not only at HCC, but other universities nearby, and we're sort of revamping that to make it a more interactive one. So the students can do a cut and paste, slide, drag and drop. They have definitions. Uh, they have functions, and the diagrams that are up now and the ones that we're putting up are ones where the student can actually focus upon it and the instructor actually has a narration that guides them through it. The websites that the instructors provide include publisher's website, which include images, PowerPoints, Q&A areas, study areas. Many instructors have a link directly to their chapter-by-chapter -chapter videos that they have made. In biology, it is a subject that requires the students to actually visualize. So as the students go through 2401 or 2402, the students discover that it's very nice to have a visual picture so the concepts become not memorized, but rather understood. These resources that we have available really allow the students to sort of take home the models that we have in our labs. They can actually do the same thing that they would do in the classroom, in the lecture room, or in the lab room, and take it home and study line by line. It's almost having, like having the instructor with them at home. Our resources that we have are sort of better than many of the universities because we have noticed that many universities are actually coming us to loan out our equipment. So we'll see that uh, our websites have been actually loaned out to other universities, and our instruments have been loaned out to. So we do have resources for the instructors as well as the students that is above par. The advantage of these technologies only comes about when the students partake of it. In many of my classes, the key thing I see is when the students take advantage of these resources up front, it's a big advantage. To learn more, visit the Life Sciences website via hccs.edu. For HCC Beat, I'm Chris Barkas. Thank <laughs> you.